Hey people, it's me again. So anyways, I should be sleeping as far as that goes, but considering like the latest news about Fauci and all this other stuff and you know, and when it comes to like the lab leak in, in a way, it's kind of tied to Obama which, in some ways, it's also kind of tied to Biden, as far as that goes. And so this could possibly be, like, another issue that could probably be carried on into the midterm elections next year, you know. But this sort of thing is, it's, I think this could be the thing that's just going to make people lose faith in the Biden administration that quickly as far as that goes. You know, it's just like what has happened the last time around, you know, when it came to Obama back in 09. It was right when they did the whole bailout and all this other stuff. And and I, I forget when, when was it that people had started to lose faith in, in Obama I think that was probably like halfway through oh nine. I'm I'm not exactly certain, you know, as far as that goes because my memory can be a little bit fuzzy at times. But I, I know it was right around that time, you know, when you know Obama's popularity went from like sixty two percent and then went down to like almost like half. By the end of the year, as far as that goes, you know, but, I mean, the way I kind of see it there, that's just, you know, kind of, you know, the whole virus remorse kind of setting in as far as that goes, you know what I mean? So, I don't know what's really going to happen as far as with next year's um, midterm election, but this is just going to be like formulaic as it is before, you know, what I had said, I mean, what I was going to say earlier about all of that, you know, that, that the whole fallout of the bug and all of these sort of things with the restrictions and and the lives lost and jobs lost and all of that is going to rest on Biden administration's shoulders on that part because you know although I do think that that Trump was also to blame for some of it but in a way you know I kind of think it was just the, the Biden administration and the Democrats and in some ways the media, you know, was pushing this sort of narrative, pushing this sort of thing that's going to cause a lot more problems for them as far as that goes. And I, I don't really think that the media will survive this sort of thing, you know. When it comes to that, and now that there are people who are going to willing to want the media to be more vetted and and not have some sort of narrative that is being constructed in some form of another, you know, as far as that goes, and so that just also makes a lot of problems when it comes to the left in general are trying to construct this sort of narrative trying to push this sort of thing down people's throats and you know and you know that if you don't believe in this sort of narrative then you're some you know awful person or something like that you know when there could be just as equally awful in that kind of regard you know but it was like one of the other things at this point, you know, when it comes to like any of these other narratives that the left is trying to push in some ways. 
and you know this is one where it's just being proven false here I mean the next narrative that could also fall apart on the left would be the environment because that's like the only thing that they can um, push a narrative that cannot really be challenged a whole lot at this point unless if you know somehow in a few years like the environment is still better not as bad as they think it is and all this sort of stuff you know but that was like one of the things here you know but then it also makes me kind of wonder is what uh, how what what good is like the left nowadays at this point any anyways you know not a whole lot you know but considering all of that you know it also depends on a lot of other things when it comes to you know the other as far as like the other dominoes to fall when it comes to you know the other um narratives that the left there that I try to construct you know when it comes to like you know the BLM Antifa and all this sort of stuff I think this this other narrative of Antifa BLM and all that will fall will be the next domino to fall as far as that goes yeah so It would be only be a matter of time when that next domino will fall, but I'm I'm thinking it's just more or less likely will be like when it comes to like the midterm election as far as that goes, you know. But this sort of thing, you know, it it, it could be like the. I forget what what the term would be called. Is it whether it's the kiss of death or it could be like the kiss of death to um the left, you know, BLM and and Antifa and a AOC and all this sort of stuff. Because one of the bigger reasons why I had left, you know. And walked away from the Democratic Party was because of people like that. Because it's making the Democrats look bad in the process as far as that goes. You know? And in this sort of thing here, you know, now that there's a different administration and now it's basically the Republicans turn to be on the attack. You know? And and then I think they're going to probably like rehash certain things that are left over from the Obama administration as far as that goes just as much as with like the Clinton administration or Carter or whatever you know how far they can go back you know and with you know Antifa and BLM I think maybe their days are numbered when it comes to um, the Republicans now finding their balls at this point, and they're going to be the ones who um, are going to, you know. I think they're going to be the ones that will chat, that will stand up to BLM, stand up to Antifa, and all of these other people at that point. Because, you know, now that Trump is no longer president and all that, they're not really kind of needed anymore. Because now, you know, at this point, it's only going to be a matter of time before... They become a hindrance to the Biden administration at this point, and and what and then whoever and then it depends on who's going to betray um, first as far as that goes. Whether if it's just you know 
the Democratic establishment betraying Antifa, AOC, and all those other people, or the other way around. Because I have a feeling when it comes to this, you know, that could be the other nail in the coffin when it comes to the likes of AOC, the likes of Antifa, and all that, is, you know, that they'll be the ones to be blamed for losing the 2022 midterms as far as that goes you know and then if and i think if, if that's like the case you know then we're probably not going to hear from antifa blm aoc and the woke people or whatever it is you know once it's like 2023 or something like that i don't, I don't know if that's really going to be the case you know, you know, but that's, could be, like, the whole possibility there, you know, when it came to, like, um, what was it, the Tea Party movement there, the, what the Tea Party movement had, um, morphed into, you know, that, that part of the Tea Party movement, you know, it, Wait a minute, because I think it, it had a lot of power at that point in 09. And it was supposed to be that opposition to Obama at that point. And then the the peak of it was like 2010 after, after the 2010 midterm election. But then it, the whole Tea Party movement had really tapered off around... 2012, I think, was when it started to taper off because because they were bankrolling on making sure that Obama doesn't get reelected, you know. But considering that, you know, the Republicans could have done something similar to, to what the Democrats had done last year, you know, you know, exploited a pandemic for part, for political gain like that, you know, you know, if, if, if we had, like, a huge pandemic occurring in 2012 like that, and, you know, and they did things like that to kind of cause, um, Obama not to get reelected in 2012, you know, that would have been the case there, you know? But it depends on how things are going to go on that point there. Because then, yeah, because now that I'm beginning to think about it, because the last hurrah of the Tea Party movement was uh, the 2014 midterms, and, and that last hurrah was really them taking over the Senate as far as that goes. So, I think the way this has started to play out, you know, the whole uh, fallout of the bug here with, like, the lab there, and then this sort of thing could be traced back to Biden and all of this other stuff will call his administration to question as well as the media apparatus and all this other stuff, you know. And I think this sort of thing could be dredged out from now to the rest of the year or all the way to um, the midterm elections. I mean, we have about like 18 months left to get to the midterm elections as far as that goes and I think the way the Biden administration handling you know the whole pandemic so far and all this other stuff will cost them in the end as far as that goes 
Yeah. So, anyways, I guess that's part of it. So, talk to you guys later.